Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to bring your chat, whether you stream on Twitch, YouTube, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to bring your chat inside of both the Oculus VR environment, if you're playing an Oculus game and streaming an Oculus game, and also in the Steam VR environment, if you're playing a VR game through Steam. Again, doesn't matter what platform you're using, this will work for either of those. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to do the same thing uh, with your activity feed. Whether you're using Streamlabs, Stream Elements, you want to see who's following you, your donations, all of that while you're playing a VR game, while you're streaming that through OBS. And that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do today. Again, doesn't matter whether it's with an Oculus game or a Steam game. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it. All right, let's roll the intro and jump into it. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop. And in order to get started with this, what you're going to want to do before you jump into your VR space, you got your stream running, you're getting ready to put on your VR headset, you've done your just chatting phase, or you might be starting in VR and you're getting things ready before. But what you're going to want to do before you jump into your VR space, and you can do this in VR if you, you know, bring up your desktop and do it, but it's easier just to do it before you get into there, is you're going to want to open up two browser tabs. One is going to be your Twitch page. So for me, it's twitch.tv slash OMG, it's Derek TV. And you're going to want to open up your page that you get your activity feed through. For me, that's stream elements. So here you can see, like, here's my latest followers. Here's my latest uh, raid. Shout out to Darth Wolf Gaming. But you're going to want to have both of those open. On your Twitch page, or again, this works with YouTube, doesn't matter where, you're going to want to get to your chat box. So on Twitch, you click chat here. On YouTube, it should pop up on one of your videos. You can click it. But what you're going to want to do is bring it up, and you're going to want to pop out your chat. So on Twitch, you do this by clicking the gear icon. Again, it's a little bit different on YouTube, Facebook, any other platform. Essentially, it's the same, and I'm sure you can figure it out. I just want to show you guys the basics of how to actually do it, or else this video will be way too long. But nonetheless... Once you're on whatever platform you're streaming on, once you get your chat box, you want to find the option to pop it out. So here on Twitch, click the gear icon, pop out chat, and get your, your, your chat popped out in another tab. Once we have that, we can close out the uh, Twitch website. And then same thing in like Stream Elements or Stream Labs. When you go in here, so like Stream Elements, for example, because that's what I use, go to Activity Feed. And again, this is the same in Stream Labs or any other platform. There's going to be a pop out tab. You're going to click that. And boom, you're going to get a pop-out of your activity feed. It's literally the exact same thing, just in a pop-out form. So you want to have both of these up on your desktop before you go into VR. Again, you can load them up in VR if you want, but it's easier just to get them in here. And here's the important thing. You don't want to minimize them down into your toolbar. They must stay on your desktop. They can be in the background like other programs like Oculus, for example, they can be in front of them, you know, or Steam or whatever. That doesn't matter. All that matters is that they are not minimized to the task bar, okay? And then once you have that done, you're ready to go. And of course, you got to have everything else that you have open for VR, whether that's Oculus, Steam VR, you know, whatever you're using. But after you have those up, those are what we need in order to bring them inside of our VR environment. So once we have those, what we need to do now is jump into the VR headset, which I'm going to do now. Uh, I'll meet you guys in there, and then I'll show you guys how we set it up inside of the VR environments, both Oculus VR environment and Steam VR environment. All right, let's jump into the headset. All right, guys. So here we are in my home in the Oculus VR environment. Uh, I'm not loading up a game yet, but after we get everything set up, I'll load up a game and show you guys. But basically, I'm standing here in my home. We're going to do Oculus first. And then I will show you guys how to do this in Steam. Uh, there's actually two different methods for Steam. Uh, the first way is gonna be the exact same way that we're doing it here in the Oculus environment. But I do wanna show you a second way using a separate piece of software uh, that's available on the Steam store uh, that allows you to do some pretty cool things as well. So we're in our Oculus home, we're in our Oculus VR environment. Uh, so whether that's you know our Oculus home, our an Oculus game, whatever the case may be, this is how we bring our chat into the Oculus environment. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually on your right um, controller, you're gonna to wanna to actually press the Oculus button, which brings up your Oculus menu like this. Here you can see my desktop. Boom, you can see Oculus Mirror, which is what I use to capture what I'm seeing in the headset. 
Uh, as well as here in the background, you can see uh, we got the chat that's still up and the activity feed from Stream Elements. So what we're gonna wanna do is down here on this bar, if we scroll all the way over to the right, there's a plus icon, which allows us to add desktop panel. When we click that, we're gonna have a choose a desktop window to show in VR. It's really this simple. So right here, I use Brave Browser. You might use Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, God forbid, but if you do, uh, you can see here, I have multiple windows open. So there's a drop down arrow. When I click that, you can now see that I have, boom, Stream Elements Activity Feed and Twitch. So I click on one of these. So we'll, we'll load in the Twitch chat first, which boom, there's my Twitch chat. So now if I, not the back trigger, but the side trigger, if I click that on my controller and hold it, I now have the window here that I can now put anywhere that I want it. And I can adjust it by rotating my wrist. I can push up on my uh, analog stick to send it, you know, back into the, you know, as far as I want, back into somewhere else. You know, down brings it back towards me, whatever. I can, you know, tilt up, down bring it wherever. So you can basically put this wherever you want. And once you have it kind of where you want it, personally, I like to put mine kind of up in the air like this, uh, because then, you know, it's kind of, no matter where I'm looking, it's kind of out of the way. Doesn't really impact the VR experience too much. You know, you do sometimes catch a corner of it or something up here, but nonetheless, you can then look up and see it. Now, one important thing to do is once you have it where you want it, you want to click this pin to experience. If you don't, when you leave out of your menu, it's not there. So we go back into here. There it is. We click this pin to experience. Now, when we go out of the Oculus menu, boom, it's still there. I can know I can still move it and everything, but it stays pinned, which is cool. So now we do the exact same thing. Add desktop panel, brave browser, activity feed. Boom. With our, you know, uh, side right here, the side trigger. We can maybe put this right up here next to our chat, pin it to the experience, close out of here. There we go. And boom, there they are. So we now have them both pinned to the experience. We can look up, see our chat as well as our activity feed. Now, again, this works, whether you're using Twitch, whether you're using YouTube, Facebook restream, which is what I personally use. All of these have a option to pop out the chat and then you can bring it in just by having it up on your desktop. Like I said, must stay on the desktop. If you minimize it, it disappears. So it must stay up here. And then look, because I did that, I now have to completely re-add it. So just, just something to keep in mind. So let me re-add it real quick here. Boom, there it is, pin it. So now if we go to a game just to show you. Okay, and so here we are loaded up inside of an Oculus game, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And if I look up here to my left because they are pinned, boom, they are both still there. Again, you can see just like in this game, that's why I like having them up here. That way if I'm looking over to the sides, you know, I'm not really, these aren't coming into view as much. Uh, you can even put them higher. I know I'm catching the bottoms of them. Uh, so you can even put them higher, but you know, then you're going like this to read your chat and stuff. So I feel like here it's enough that I can kind of turn the head up that, you know, pretty comfortably to take a peek when I'm playing. So I'm doing my thing, take a peek, back to doing my thing. Hush your mouth, dog. I'm trying to record a video here. And that's how you do it. Now, the cool thing about it is if we uh, go in here and we exit out of Saints and Sinners and we load into Steam VR, you can see that they stay even if I go into the Steam VR environment. So that method works for both Oculus VR environment as well as the Steam VR environment. However, maybe you don't wanna see these all the time. You know, you wanna keep that VR experience as fresh as you can. Well, in the Steam VR environment, unlike the Oculus, there's actually a second program we can use that'll allow us to show our chat and our activity feed and do some other cool stuff. So let me go ahead and close these out and then uh, I'll meet you guys back here in the VR environment in one second and show you guys how to do that. So we are still in the Steam VR environment. It's loaded in the background, but I am once again in the Oculus menu uh, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you go to Steam into the store, 
There is a program, uh, it costs money, but it's called OVR Toolkit. You can buy it, download it, and what this allows you to do, let me launch it here, is it's going to allow you to bring Windows and stuff into the Steam environment just like we can with the Oculus. So I just wanted to show you OVR Toolkit in the store. You can download it, install it. You have to have your headset on and running. In, you, know, you gotta have Steam VR already open in order to load up the OVR Toolkit. If you try to load it up before you have Steam VR and stuff up, it won't work. So now let me go back into Steam VR and then I'll show you guys in there how we set up OVR Toolkit to show your chat and your activity feed. So here we are back in the Steam VR environment. And what we're gonna wanna do here is once we have the OVR running, again, you gotta have Steam VR open first. And now when we look at our wrist, we have this window here. And if we click this little cog wheel, we're gonna bring up a little menu. Now we can spawn a new window, which is gonna bring up our desktop first. But if we click the settings button down here, we can choose where, what we want to capture. So if we scroll down the list here, we can see Twitch. Boom, that switches to our Twitch chat window that again, we already have open on our desktop and isn't down in our taskbar. It's showing on the desktop, even if it's behind other programs, blah, 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 blah. So we can now again, hit the grip button, the side button, not the back one, but the side grip button, and we can move this to wherever we want it. But the cool thing about it, unlike the other one, is we have some different options. We have a pin, keep visible, which we you know, may or may not wanna do. You can pin it to the environment. You can also crop, you can also do a chroma key. You can also raise and lower the opacity. So let's say you know, we're good with like a 50% opacity. That way we can see through it. But then the other, the coolest things about this that you can do is not frame rate, we can drop that down to five, that way it's not being memory or CPU intensive or anything because it's just a chat, we don't need it to be high frame rate. Visibility, so hide when not looking at windows. So that is the feature we wanna look at and also the track device. So the track device allows us, so if we click right, it now tracks to our right controller. So the cool thing about this is, so like for example here, on the back, of our wrist. And then again, if we go up here, hide when not looking at the window, we can check that and then close this. And now, whenever we are playing the game, no chat, but then when we wanna look at the chat, we simply rotate our arm like this, boom, there's my chat, I can see it, I can respond to chat, put my wrist back down. And same thing, if we load up, here, we can now go back to home, we can spawn a new window, we can change this window, set the contents, we want this one to be our activity feed, boom. So now maybe this one I wanna put, well first actually, let me uh, go to the settings here, hide when not looking at it. So now you can see that just makes it hide it if you're not looking directly at the space. So even if you don't wanna track it to like your wrist, you can put it up like I do, you know, like you do with the uh, Oculus VR uh, example. Uh, but you know, if you're not looking at it, it's going to disappear. You can kind of see until I get, and then it appears. So that's nice. So you can still have them there if you don't want to, you know, be doing this. You can have them up there, and unless you look up at it, they won't show in the environment. So even if you look over here, you wouldn't see them until you're actually looking at the actual direction of it. So that's a nice feature of that. And this time we're gonna track this one. Actually, we'll track it to our right as well. And then we will grab it here. And this one we don't need right, we'll put it next to it there. So, and then again, we wanna make sure the frame rate's set to five. And then also, let's, uh, let's make it a little bit smaller by clicking the smaller button. I'm just showing you guys some examples here. And then you're saying, well, what if you wanna Go back to that one. Well, we go to that one, click on it, and now we're adjusting that one. So we can adjust all of these different things. So we can put them next to each other. There we go, we close out of here now. And now any SteamVR environment that we're in, we have our windows here 
our Twitch chat and our stream feed. Again, you can put it on either arm. You can put them up in there and have it only visible if you look at it. But now I can just be doing whatever. Boom. Take a look. Read my chat. Look at my notifications. You know, oh, I got a, a notification that someone followed. And then boom, you're done. You're good to go. You know, you go back down. Beat Saber. Blah, 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 nothing showing. But okay, got it. Blah, 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 whatever. It's good to go. So that's how you do it. This method only works inside the Steam VR environment, though. Just to clarify that once again, uh, if you're doing Oculus games or in your, you're in your Oculus home or whatever, uh, you have to do it through the first method I showed you. You know, and again, you can use the first method I showed you in both the Oculus environment as well as Steam VR and any Steam VR games that you're playing. You just don't get the extra features like being able to track it to one of your arms or being able to make them disappear, things like that. So if you are doing stuff in Steam or you know that you're going to be playing a stream uh, where, where all night long you're going to be inside the Steam VR environment, then the OVR toolkit is definitely a nice feature. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, make sure you smash that like button. Get subscribed to the channel for more streaming, VR, gaming, content. Love your faces. And I will see you guys on the next one.